Whey protein can be categorized into two main types, whey protein concentrate and whey protein isolate. Whey concentrate consists of anywhere between 34% and 80% protein by weight and has relatively high levels of lactose, fat, cholesterol, and denatured proteins. Unfortunately, most supplement companies use high amounts of whey protein concentrate in their formulations. This whey protein concentrate costs a fraction of what higher quality whey proteins cost. So unscrupulous companies make more money off of unsuspecting consumers. As we so often say in the supplement industry, let the buyer beware. The other category of whey protein is called whey protein isolate, which, unlike whey concentrate, contains over 90% protein and minuscule amounts of lactose, fat, cholesterol, and denatured proteins. We at Integrated Supplements believe that the cheaper whey concentrates have absolutely no nutritional benefit over the quality isolate and that the whey concentrates may have several negative effects on your health. That's why we use absolutely no whey protein concentrate in our protein formulations. Its cholesterol content is one of the main reasons why we feel whey concentrate should be completely avoided. We believe that the cholesterol in whey protein concentrate is particularly prone to oxidation and, over time, can be harmful to your health. Unlike the cholesterol in fresh foods, the powdered cholesterol in whey concentrate is exposed to high temperatures in production, and oxygen from the air over the course of many months, if not years, sitting in a warehouse or on a store shelf. This sort of environment can cause a portion of the cholesterol to go rancid or oxidize. Oxidation of cholesterol turns it from an essential component of cellular structure and hormone synthesis to a metabolic poison capable of causing serious damage. When the body tries to use this oxidized cholesterol as a cellular building block, as it would normal cholesterol, the immune system doesn't recognize it and tries to attack it. This immune system attack also known as inflammation, most certainly occurs when oxidized cholesterol is incorporated into our arteries. It's very important to realize that inflammation in the arteries is the driving force behind the arteriosclerotic plaque buildup in heart disease. And oxidized cholesterol causes this inflammation. Regular non-oxidized cholesterol doesn't cause it. LDL, or bad cholesterol by itself, doesn't cause it. Saturated fats don't cause it. Only oxidized cholesterol is the prime cause of inflammation in the arteries, and many whey protein powders contain oxidized cholesterol. Just like the inflammatory response which takes place when you suffer a cut on your hand, for example, arterial inflammation causes white blood cells, or macrophages, to flood the injured area, blood to clot, and cells to multiply. When these reactions take place on your hand, a scab, or, in time, a scar, can form. When similar reactions take place in the lining of the artery, the result is the development of what is called the fatty streak, the beginning of arteriosclerosis, or the clogged arteries of heart disease. As this information becomes more widely known, don't be surprised to see supplement companies downplay the damaging role of oxidized cholesterol in their products. After all, they've got a vested financial interest in selling you the cheapest ingredients at inflated prices. They'll try to tell you that the cholesterol in their powders is the same as that found in fresh foods, but we at Integrated Supplements beg to differ. We invite you to visit our website, www.integratedsupplements.com, where you will find links to pertinent research studies linking oxidized cholesterol to heart disease and examining the presence of oxidized cholesterol in processed foods, including dairy powders like whey protein concentrate.